Okay, in 1993, Arkansas was really a fun team to cover that year. The 1992, uh, Todd Day, Lee Mayberry, and Oliver Miller have been seniors, and they had an incredible four-year run. They'd gone to the Final Four in, in 90, gone to the Elite Eight in 91. They got upset by Memphis in the second round in 92, but those are three of the best players ever in the history of Arkansas, and they just had an incredible four-year run, you know, dominating the Southwest Conference and leading Arkansas to an SEC title in their first year in the SEC. And so the next year, I mean, Arkansas was not ranked the next year. Corliss Williamson, Scotty Thurman were freshmen. You had some other, you know, good players like Robert Shepard and Daryl Hawkins, but they were undersized. They were young. And Corliss, people off, he, he, he got injured early. He had a leg injury, and so he missed a lot of games. But that team uh, was just a lot of fun to cover because there wasn't a lot of pressure on them. They ended up going to the East Regional as a four seed. And in the second round, they beat St. John's. This was the year after Lou Karnasek had, had retired as St. John's coach, and an assistant coach Brian Mahoney got uh, promoted. And Arkansas ended up beating St. John's 80 to 74. And I think Arkansas hit a free throw with about 20 seconds left to get a six-point lead. And you know, you thought Arkansas was going to hang on, but St. John's didn't foul the, the last 20 seconds or whatever it was to try to put, you know, make Arkansas put the pressure on, miss free throws, maybe you know, come down hit three or whatever. And so I asked Brian Mahoney after the game if the players were just too tired, and, you know, and they couldn't catch Arkansas to foul them or what happened. Why, why didn't they foul him? He, he, he got, he was pretty ticked off at the question. And, and he basically, you know, if you've ever been to those NCAA pressers, the coach is sitting up there like on Mount Olympus, literally looking down on the media. And so he's looking down on me, I guess figuratively and literally. And he says, um, have you ever heard of a six point play? Like I'm an idiot, and I said no, but I've heard of two three pointers. My point being, you foul, you hope they miss the free throw. You come down, you hit a three. You foul, you hope they miss the free throw. You come down, hit a three or the free throws. And why you wouldn't do that in the biggest game of the season with your season on the line? I don't know why you would not do that. Maybe he just, you know, screwed up. I don't know and was embarrassed. But I, I, then I went, you know, so I went back to the workroom and I'm typing up my stuff. And I can't tell you how many guys came by and said, man, that was great. You really showed it. <laughs> no. And, um, but I thought it was a very legitimate question. I don't know why he reacted the way he did. I thought he said, yeah, we just were worn out. Because Arkansas, that team, that was the epitome of 40 minutes of hell. And they really wore out St. John's. And I thought, well, maybe they just were too tired to chase them. And I don't know. But I thought, how could you not foul in that situation? So that, that's something that's always stuck with me, that he was, I thought Brian Mahoney was a real jerk. In the next three years, he had losing records and he got fired. And I don't wish getting fired on anybody in any line of work, but I didn't uh, feel real bad when Brian Mahoney got fired because I, I thought he was a jerk.